Welcome back everybody. About a year ago, I reviewed a kit for growing crystals. I had such good fun making those crystals and it got such a response from everybody that I decided to review another one. So this is the National Geographic Crystal Growing Lab. Let's have a look at what we have inside. We have a manual, a display base, a power charger cord for the display base. A bag of three gemstones. I don't think these have anything to do with growing crystals. I think these are just here as freebies. A mixing jug, which is a nice, strong, heat resistant rubber. Three bags of crystal growing powder. Wooden stirring spoon, magnifying glass, and some seed rocks. Let's have a look at the contents of the manual. comes with some instructions for the display base. Basically it has a whole bunch of lighting modes. We'll come back to this when we finish growing the crystals. There's plenty of advice in this manual. Since it does involve using hot water, you need to be careful. Adult supervision required. There's some safety rules mainly about keeping the chemicals that are in the crystal growing powder away from eyes or mouth and what to do just in case you do come into contact with them. It tells you what you need. You need hot water, you need a glass measuring cup, preferably something under your crystal growing chamber just to handle spills, some uh, newspaper or a towel, and a good place to grow your crystals where they can remain undisturbed for up to seven days. There's a great outline of the steps involved. We'll go through that in a moment, and some tips to maximize your crystal growth. And then there's a bit of science. You know how I love the learning potential of these kits? Uh, what is a crystal? What they're used for? How do they form? Different types of crystals, amethyst, quartz, and just a little bit in the back here about different types of rocks. Uh, these may be the little sample rocks that are in the bag because there's certainly a green one in here which may be this fluorite. Uh, all the others are white, which look more like quartz to me. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this bag is for. And that's it. They recommend a glass measuring jug to get the precise amount of boiling water required or inside of the crystal growing chamber here, there is a fill line that indicates how far up you should put the water. There's enough materials in the kit to make three crystals. 
which will then be displayed on that display base. So we need the crystal growing chamber, one pack of crystal growing powder, which what they suggest you remove all the lumps from before use. It doesn't look to me like there's any lumps in there. We need the spoon and we need seed rocks. There's three seed rocks in here, enough to make one crystal. So the first thing we do is we take a whole bag of crystal growing powder. Oh, this says green in the corner. I didn't notice before that maybe they're all pre-colored. So we empty the whole of this into the growing chamber. I can see the line here. I'm now going to fill it up to that line with boiling water. Like so on. And now I have to mix the solution for two minutes until it completely dissolves. And they suggest you set a timer for two minutes. So while we're doing this, just a reminder that if these crystals take up to seven days to grow each one, uh, then to grow all three crystals is going to take the good part of a month. That's 21 days. So uh, you got a good month's work of effort here to be able to get your final three crystals and put them on the display base. But stay tuned and we'll speed that process up into just a few minutes. Huh, we've stained the spoon. <laughs> now we have to leave this solution for 10 minutes before we put this growing crystal in. And now we need to lower the seed rock into the solution. Now remembering how it stained the spoon, I'm not sure we should dip our fingers into there, maybe with gloves on. So I'm gonna use the spoon to lower it into the base. And the idea apparently is to center it. So I'm gonna lower it in there and then try and get it in the center as much as you can see. Apparently it makes the crystal grow more evenly. And that's it. We now need to wait up to seven days for this crystal to grow. They recommend you keep this in a stable, light and warm environment for the entirety of that period. So put it somewhere where it can't be disturbed. They recommend at least 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Another tip they give is in the first 24 hours, maybe to cover the solution to prevent the water evaporating in that first period. And it's supposed to make the crystal grow larger. But you must remember to remove that cover after 24 hours. So basically what's going to happen is all the water is going to evaporate, leaving the growing crystal in the bottom. I'm going to take that advice with this crystal and I'm going to cover this chamber and we'll come back and visit it in the next few days and see how it's doing. Here we are. I was hoping that the liquid would have evaporated more in a week and that the crystal would have been exploding out of the cup there. Kind of like in sci-fi movies where the, the life form explodes out of the container and then grows exponentially and like destroys the world. Uh, I guess it's glad, I'm glad it didn't do that. Uh, but you can see that there is a crystal at the bottom there. Uh, let's pull it out, dry it off and see what we've got. And there it is. You can see there's quite a beautiful crystal there that's grown. Some pretty decent detail on there. And it's got a flat base. 
which will make it stand on the display case easier. And here's the blue crystal, which you can see has grown some much taller spikes. Look at that. That's pretty incredible. Let's take a look at the display base. So it's this angled platform upon which you can set the three crystals. And it's got various lighting functions in it. And these are all powered by this USB cable, which you plug into one of those phone chargers. It comes with a handy instruction card, but really it sounds quite simple to use. So there's a power button. And as you can see, there's three lights which will shine up beneath the crystals. I'm going to turn my light off so that you can see these better. And then there's three buttons here which give you a variety of options. There's a menu button here. There's three modes here. There's the standard lighting mode you can see now. This is what they call the breathing mode, which kind of pulses dim to full. And then there's what they call the candle flickering mode. So let's go back to the solid mode. And the next button gives you brightness levels. I believe this is 100%. This is 50% and 12%, which I imagine gives a really good night light because you don't want it being too bright. Let's go back to 100%. And the last button selects colors. So I believe this is white, although it looks more blue to me. Maybe the previous one was aqua, and this is violet, I think. That's definitely pink. Red. You can't see it too well on the camera. They're red. The next mode is a rainbow mode. Where it cycles between the different colors. After that, you go back to, I believe, white, yellow, green, and then aqua, violet, pink, red, and then the rainbow mode again. So you can choose the brightness, the mode, and the color. And we'll take a look at these settings again when we get the final three crystals on top. And here we are at the end of the third week, a week since we started the purple crystal. And here it is. Let's take a real close look here. It has some really great vertical features on it. That's really pretty. So here are our three crystals. I've got the display base plugged in and it's on standard white full brightness mode. I'm going to turn off my lighting. I probably still have too much light in here to do it justice, but you can see the light shining through the crystal. So this simulates what it might look like in a darkened room, kind of using it like a nightlight. And I think it looks even prettier 
if we put it into candle mode, where it just kind of flickers like there's a flame under the crystals. I like that a lot. So there you are. This has been the National Geographic Crystal Growing Lab, where you get to grow three colored crystals and you get this fabulous display base to put them on. That's guaranteed to make your crystals a, a genuine showpiece for any visitors to your home or office. So if you haven't already watched it, I have another video on growing crystals, which you should go and check out. I think growing crystals is a fascinating hobby. And if you enjoyed watching this take shape, then please like the video and go to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch uh, even more fascinating videos that I have coming up um, on crystals and chemistry and electronics and computer programming. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy. Let me know how you get on with your own crystal growing. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.